Ugh, floor eight. It's weird, like, this floor really isn't that difficult compared to most of the last few ones we just did. It really isn't that difficult, especially also when you start off in better shape. Well, 96% health is good, but the 44 ammo is alright. This map, though, has its kind of unlucky points in it, if you know what I mean, though. The two rooms where there's all the Santas surrounded by the tables, I didn't realize this until I first did this floor, but you cannot get to most of the Santas in there to retrieve their, um, their left-behind ammo. If we were able to, though, that would be a big help in this map. Which is why, you know, here there you see me alternating back and forth between the, um, the, the chain gun and the machine gun. And a couple places, like that one green room where there's nothing in there besides enemies. You, so it's best to just, you know, stay back and let them come to you and just knife them all off. Even though, as I keep saying, sometimes the, the snowmen, for some reason, can be tough to get under control with, with a knife. They're not as deadly as mutants, I'd say, but I've learned, especially in this map, close to B. There's been a few times where I literally just turn a corner already about to throw the snowballs at me or whatever the heck they're loaded with. But yeah, again, this map, it really isn't that difficult. I mean, they do give you a decent amount of health and ammo. Well, not that much, but the two extra lives really come in handy. But again, use those wisely. But just the same pattern we've been seeing. A lot of pack of rooms, limited on health and ammo. But it's still, I'd say, one of the easier maps we've seen so far. But it is still challenging, somewhat. That is it, though, for Floor 8, guys. Let's move on now to Floor 9, the final floor in Ariolus' Xmas Wolf 3D. And we get to fight the big Santa again for the boss. Until then, guys, I am the Club of the Man, 1993.